welcome back to InfoTap Learning. Today, we're diving into effective study techniques and tips for ACing your exams. That's right, Rachel. Studying smart can make a huge difference in your academic performance. Let's get started with some practical advice. Absolutely, Michael. First off, setting a clear study schedule can help you stay organized and manage your time effectively. Plan your study sessions in advance and allocate specific times for each subject. It's also essential to create a conducive study environment. Find a quiet place with minimal distractions where you can focus entirely on your studies. This could be a library, a dedicated study room, or even a quiet corner at home. Taking regular breaks is crucial too. Studying for long periods without breaks can lead to burnout and reduce productivity. Try the Pomodoro technique, where you study for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break. Another effective strategy is active learning. Instead of just reading your notes, engage with the material actively. Summarize key concepts in your own words, create mind maps, or teach the content to someone else. This helps reinforce your understanding. And don't forget the power of practice exams. Testing yourself under exam-like conditions can help you identify areas where you need more focus and build your confidence for the real thing. Lastly, prioritize self-care. Get enough sleep, eat well-balanced meals, and exercise regularly. A healthy mind and body are crucial for effective studying. That's right, Rachel. Studying smart can make a huge difference in your academic performance. Let's get started with some practical advice. One important aspect we didn't touch on much last time is the importance of understanding your learning style. Everyone learns differently. Some people are visual learners, some are auditory, and others might be kinesthetic. Identifying your learning style can help you tailor your study methods to what works best for you. Absolutely, Rachel. For instance, if you're a visual learner, using charts, diagrams, and color-coded notes can be very helpful. Auditory learners might benefit from listening to recorded lectures or explaining concepts out loud. Kinesthetic learners might prefer hands-on activities or using physical objects to understand abstract concepts. Another key point is to make use of all available resources. This includes textbooks, online courses, study groups, and even apps designed to help with studying. Don't limit yourself to just one source of information. The more diverse your resources, the better your understanding of the material. And speaking of study groups, studying with others can be incredibly beneficial. It allows you to gain different perspectives and explanations, which can enhance your understanding. Plus, teaching your peers is one of the best ways to reinforce your own knowledge. That's a great point, Michael. And let's not forget about the importance of asking for help when you need it. Whether it's from teachers, tutors, or classmates, don't be afraid to reach out if you're struggling with a particular topic. Yes, asking questions is crucial. No one expects you to know everything, and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Now, let's talk about managing stress, which is a big part of preparing for exams. Yes, asking questions is crucial. No one expects you to know everything, and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Now, let's talk about managing stress, which is a big part of preparing for exams. Definitely, stress can significantly impact your ability to study effectively. To manage stress, make sure you're practicing relaxation techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or even yoga. Taking care of your mental health is just as important as your academic preparation. And don't underestimate the power of a positive mindset. Believe in your ability to succeed and approach your studies with confidence. Positive affirmations and visualizing your success can actually help improve your performance. Also, try to stay hydrated and eat nutritious foods that fuel your brain. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, like fish and walnuts, can enhance brain function. And as we mentioned before, getting enough sleep is non-negotiable. Your brain needs rest to process and retain information. Absolutely, Rachel. And if you ever feel overwhelmed, 
Take a step back and remind yourself of your goals and the progress you've made so far. Breaking your study goals into smaller, manageable tasks can make a big difference in how you approach your studies. Finally, remember to reward yourself for your hard work. After a productive study session, take some time to do something you enjoy. This can help keep you motivated and make the study process more enjoyable. There's always more to learn when it comes to studying effectively. Let's start by discussing the importance of setting specific goals for your study sessions. Setting specific, measurable goals can really boost your productivity. Instead of saying, I'll study biology today, try something more concrete, like, I'll review chapters 4 and 5 of my biology textbook and complete the practice quiz. Absolutely, Rachel. Having clear goals helps you stay focused and gives you a sense of accomplishment when you complete them. Another technique that can be very useful is the Feynman technique. This involves teaching the material you're studying to someone else or even just explaining it out loud to yourself. The Feynman technique is fantastic because it forces you to simplify the material and identify any gaps in your understanding. If you can explain a concept clearly and simply, you truly understand it. Speaking of understanding, it's also important to connect new information to what you already know. Creating associations between new and existing knowledge can help you remember information more effectively. This is known as elaborative rehearsal. That's a great point, Michael. And for those who struggle with staying focused, try using technology to your advantage. There are various apps and tools designed to help with productivity. For example, apps like Forest can help you stay off your phone while studying by growing a virtual tree that dies if you leave the app. Another great app is Quizlet, which allows you to create digital flashcards and study games. It's an excellent way to review key terms and concepts. Additionally, Using a study timer app like Pomodone can help you manage your time effectively. Let's not forget the power of visualization and memory aids. Creating vivid mental images or using mnemonic devices can help you recall information more easily. For example, the acronym HOMES can help you remember the Great Lakes, Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. Mnemonics are indeed powerful. And for subjects that require a lot of memorization, like languages or history, spaced repetition is a highly effective method. This involves reviewing information at increasing intervals over time, which helps move knowledge from short-term to long-term memory. Another technique worth mentioning is the use of study groups. We touched on this before, but let's go into more detail. Study groups can provide different perspectives on the material and allow you to benefit from the collective knowledge of the group. Plus, discussing the material with others can enhance your understanding and retention. That's right. And when participating in study groups, try to actively engage by asking questions and contributing to discussions. This active participation can greatly enhance your learning experience. It's also important to vary your study techniques to keep things interesting and prevent monotony. For instance, you could switch between reading, writing, and using multimedia resources like educational videos and podcasts. And don't forget the importance of practice. For subjects like math and science, practicing problem solving is key. Working through different types of problems helps you understand the underlying principles and prepares you for exams. Speaking of exams, let's talk about exam strategies. One crucial tip is to carefully read all the instructions and questions before you start answering. This ensures you understand what's being asked and helps you avoid mistakes. Yes, and if you're stuck on a question, don't spend too much time on it. Move on to the next question and come back to it later if you have time. This way, you can ensure you answer the questions you know first and maximize your score. Another tip is to use the process of elimination for multiple choice questions. Narrow down your options by eliminating the clearly incorrect answers, which increases your chances of selecting the right one. And for essay questions, make sure to outline your answer before you start writing. This helps you organize your thoughts and ensures your response is coherent and structured. Finally, after the exam, 
Take some time to review your performance. Analyze what went well and what didn't, and use this feedback to improve your study habits for the future. That wraps up part three of our discussion on how to study well and prepare for exams. We hope you found these additional tips helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to InfoTap Learning for more educational content like this. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we post new videos. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your studies!